is it a fact that I can make that noise? Because I don't know if many other people can. <laughs> Sound like a dolphin. Or a horse. Sorry about this. Looks a bit like a poo, but that's fine. Hi guys! I am home and I'm so happy and the lighting is beautiful for once. Every other video I've looked back on, like edited it, and I'm just like, I look terrible. I really, I'm really sorry for the last video. I looked really bad. <laughs> anyway, um, I was thinking about stuff and I was like, I always just post like videos, obviously. Um, but nothing really about me, nothing really that personal. And I'm gonna let you get to know me a bit more and do the 50 things about me tag because I don't think I've ever done it. I don't think I have. If I have, it was ages ago and I was probably a different person. So yeah. Also, it is 25 degrees outside. What? It was it was snowing about four days ago and now it's 25 degrees. I'm happy though. Although I don't wanna burn because I will burn. Anyway, let's go. My name is Abby James. This channel is Abby Rose because Rose is my middle name. My nickname is Pixie. Not everybody calls me it, but my mum and my family have called me it since I was tiny. I am 21 years old and my birthday is 10 days before Christmas, which is a little bit annoying because I have to wait the whole year, but I love Christmas time, so yeah. I was born in Bodle Wyvern, which is in Wales, although I don't have a Welsh accent because it's in the north and I can't speak Welsh, even though I've been learning it since I was four years old. Sorry, Wales. I've currently just finished my first year of university studying textile design and I'm going to be specialising in commercial embroidery. I'm a vegetarian and I think it, I've just passed my one year mark and it is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I am the laziest person you'll ever meet. I can sleep at any time, anywhere, apart from night time because at night time I stay up until 4am because that's when my mind's awake and I'm thinking and I don't sleep at the right times. I'm obsessed with the colour yellow and this obsession doesn't seem to be going away like my other obsessions but I will also have something yellow on me like mustard yellow um, just everything I buy is yellow because it makes me happy so yeah one of my biggest loves in life is cats I've loved cats since forever my first word was cat I've grown up with cats and they just bring happiness to my heart and I've never owned a dog but I do like dogs too but cats are way up there I'm actually naturally a ginger like I'm sort of like a dark auburn but in the sun it's ginger and I'm actually really freckly under all this makeup it also means I burn the second my skin hits sunlight. I'm a lobster. I've been with my boyfriend Chris for just over four years now, which is my longest relationship, and I can't quite get over that someone wants to be with me for that long because I'm a very irritating person. <laughs> Probably my closest relationships in my life are my mum and my older sister. I'm currently growing out my pixie cut, which a lot of you probably know, but maybe if you're new, this is a wig. I'm currently growing it out and it's curly and poofy but I will get there. I wear wigs on a daily basis. I now own three and I own extensions and I like to change my appearance really really often. Like I get so so bored with myself that I just have to change it. So that is why in each of my videos I probably look like a different person. I think I'm having a, an identity crisis so just I don't know. My hair has been every single colour there is apart from yellow. Every single one. If you ever want to see a hair timeline, let me know and I will do that. My biggest passions are art, music, movies and books. My favourite genre of film is psychological thrillers. I'm obsessed with them. I get so into them and I'm trying to guess the plot and I get really nervous and I just love them so much. The countryside is my favourite place to be. I've always sort of grown up in kind of the countryside. I mean, I've always been around the countryside. I was always climbing mountains and stuff when I was little, going to see castles, and I feel more at home in the country. And at home, I actually live opposite a farm, which is, I love it. I love it. I'm an extremely anxious person. I think I have anxiety, but if I do, then it's my anxiety that's just stopping me going to the doctors to ask them if I do. Everything scares me. Can't do anything for myself. I'm not independent, and I wish I was. I've got two tattoos on my arm and three piercings, which is my nose, my septum, which for some reason isn't in my face. And I did have this stretched, but I lost my stretcher and just decided to let it get little again. I also have scars where my spider bites were. 
which not many people notice, <laughs> which I find weird because they're quite noticeable. I want to travel the world, it's one of my biggest dreams, I just want to go everywhere and see different cultures and meet new people and I'm really excited for the future. I've been to the Amazon rainforest and it was the most magical thing I've ever done in my life. It changed me as a person, it was... <sighs> makes me emotional thinking about it. Um, one day I'm going to try and find footage that I took there because it's on all my old computers but I really want to make a video about it because it was the best thing I've ever done in my life and I want to inspire other people to go because I need to go back. Like. You don't understand how magical it is. I become obsessed with things very easily. Um, it can be either like celebrities, um, Ed Sheeran I was obsessed with, I still kind of am, but um, I will go through phases of being like, at the minute it's more James Bay, but um, if I like something I will obsess. I will listen to them every single day, I will get pictures of them, um, I will cry when I see them on TV. Um, it happens with like activities as well. If I like something I will do it and do it and do it and do it until I hate it. Which is really annoying, but I guess it means I'm a bit passionate. <laughs> I'm currently attempting to learn guitar and ukulele, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I've never been really, really good at an instrument, and it's what I've always wanted to do, and I was like, why have I never tried? I've always had a guitar, I've always had a ukulele, but I've never actually bothered to properly learn them, so I'm trying. <laughs> My first ever job was in Tesco, and I've worked there for five years now, and I still work there, I'm just having a career break at the minute, and Pretty much my whole family also works there. Mum works there, my sister works there, my stepsister works there, my stepdad works there, my cousin works there, and yeah, there are five members of the family. Probably missed someone out, but Tesco family! I started ballet when I was really really young, but because I was really shy, I refused to get on stage and it upsets me to this day that I didn't continue because I feel like I would have been a good ballet dancer. I was good and then I just got too shy and was like, bye! I get ill all the time. Like, I'm just always ill. Since being little, I've always just got ill. If someone's ill, I'll get ill. It just comes from nowhere. I'm also always cold all the time. Like, no matter how warm it is, I my hands are always freezing cold. It's like I'm made of ice. <sighs> I have scoliosis, which means that my spine does this. And if I don't do regular exercise or regularly, just even if it's just walking around, I am in extreme pain. I had to quit one of my jobs in Tesco. I've worked three roles there and one of the jobs I had to quit because I was in too much pain and it's not cute. I am an extremely sensitive person. I will cry at anything, whether it's happy or sad. I cry a lot and um, it can just be like something on TV. If, if I see a family crying with happiness, I'll cry my eyes out. I was watching something the other day and someone rescued a kitten from like a drain pipe and like wept. Um, if someone tries to argue with me, um, that's another one I can add in. Um, I'm not confrontational at all. If anyone tries to be confrontational with me, I'll probably cry. Yeah, I'm a baby. I can't drive. Um, I'm 22 this year and I still won't take lessons because I'm selfish and the thought of it really, really scares me. I hate being in cars, so the thought of being in control of a car is like... Nope. If I'm on a long car journey, I will just be like sweating like, I feel like I'm gonna die. So yeah. I'm extremely clumsy and I fall over things pretty much daily. Um, I always like, I just hurt myself. Every single day I will get an injury. Have I hurt myself today actually? I got blisters on the back of my feet today. That's about it. I always fall over like in the morning when I'm doing my makeup because I'm half asleep. So there's that. Like, here's an example, um, I had the dishwasher like door pulled down once and I was just walking about the kitchen and I managed to trip over it and flip like over the dishwasher and like cut my leg. It was right in front of me, like, that's my life. I have a Harry Potter scar on my forehead. I am always buying books as you can see, but I only tend to read them when I'm on the train. I get through so much, so many books on trains, but when it comes to lying in bed, I go to read one and I tend to just go on my laptop instead, which is bad. I wish I read more. I used to be the shyest child in the world. The only people I'd speak to was like my mum. <laughs> um, I used to hate strangers. I used to hate everyone. I used to scream, cry in school, and I used to beg to be homeschooled. I just was bad around people. My favourite film is Never Let Me Go. If you've not seen it, please go and watch it. It made me cry for like a week, but it's the most beautiful film in the world, the way it's filmed and just the story and everything behind it is so nice. 
I've lost a lot of friends throughout my life, which means I don't really trust people easily anymore. It takes a lot for me to trust someone properly. I prefer to have a small group of friends who I can really connect to rather than huge mounds of people who don't really know me that well. I've learned in the past it's better to have people who just get you. My dream is to own my own brand of either like stationery or maybe even fashion or interiors. That is my dream, I want to own my own brand and one day it will happen. And obviously I would love to be big on YouTube, maybe one day. I tend to obsess over men with really nice faces and long hair. For example, James Bay. Can't deal with him. Dougie Pointer. I just like pretty men. A lot. I like to look at their nice faces. I could not live in a world without music. I love it so much. I listen to it pretty much every moment of the day. Um, I love all kinds of genres. My favourite is acoustic and I love indie music. I love all kinds. I love good old school pop punk. I just... I like rock. I like... I just like bits of everything. My favourites being... Um, I love 21 Pilots at the minute. Ed Sheeran will always be my one true love. Um, Kings of Leon. Um, Green Day. Um, I always, I'm always bad with listing music I like because I always get back, get to editing and I'm like, you forgot your favourite band of all time. But yeah, I love finding new music so much. Jeremy Loops is my favourite at the minute. I'm gonna go and see him in October, and I'm so excited. Um, back when I was doing my GCSEs, my art teacher told me that I was terrible. She told me I was gonna fail. She told me there was no point in doing my GCSEs because I wasn't gonna make it. And I got a B and I'm now getting firsts in university so I really want to go and find her and let her know and just shove it in her face because I'm better than she said I was. I love going to gigs Um, I don't go to as many as I used to but I've lost count of how many I've been to and um, just growing up I just always was at gigs all the time I just love the atmosphere and everyone is just so happy and you all have this one big thing in common and just I get a big buzz from it I just love gigs so much. Probably my favourite thing in the entire world is conversations um, at really early hours in the morning when you're sleepy and you're just thinking about life and you find someone you can just talk to and you can just talk to them about everything and I love that so much. Like, if I could do that every night, I would. My favourite drinks are chocolate milkshake and just cups of tea. I love them, but my favourite alcoholic drink is anything with vodka in it because vodka is incredible. I love it. I love vodka and strawberry juice, vodka and lemonade, vodka and coke, um, sours, I always drink sours because it's delicious, I can just drink it out of the bottle and it doesn't taste like alcohol, so yes. I also love wine because it makes me all warm inside. <laughs> um, I find it really hard to connect with people straight away because well, if you can make me laugh and we share the same sense of humour, I tend to connect with people that way, like instantly, I feel instantly comfortable, so have a weird sense of humour like me and we'll probably be friends straight away. <laughs> I'm more insecure than people realise. Um, a lot of people say I come across as quite confident, which makes me laugh because I'm not. Um, I cry very often about how I look and I am always thinking in my head that everyone's judging me. Some days I don't care what anyone thinks, but most of the time in my head I'm thinking about what everyone's view of me is and I hate that about myself. I forgive people very easily, which is kind of a good and a bad thing. I feel like sometimes I'm too much of a nice person. No matter how weird and just horrible someone is to me, eventually I will just sort of brush it off. I just don't hold grudges, I don't see the point. I hate arguments, so I tend to just stop speaking to people and if they want to come and talk to me, I won't ignore them, but I won't argue. Probably my biggest fear in the world is blue whales. Um, most people are like, they won't hurt you, Bobby. They are whales, they're lovely animals. I agree, I love animals. I think they're beautiful. But if I am shown a picture of one, a video of one, just thinking of one makes me <laughs> They are too big. Like, I think it's just scale. It's like, imagine me next to it and <sighs> don't like them. Don't like them at all. I'm sorry, blue whales. You're magnificent, but don't go near me. <laughs> I love hugs and I love affection. And if you're one of them people who hasn't like seen someone in a while and you run up to them and hug them, I love those people because I won't do that because I just think people will think I'm weird but um yeah I like to be hugged or just people that are like I don't know just like affection people who like mess with your hair and they're just like hey and they give you hugs and it's nice <laughs> right I think that was number 50 I might have added more in but I think that's it 
yeah, you like this. It's a bit different from other videos. It's a bit more personal, but hey, now you know weird things about me. I want you to paste in the comments below the weirdest fact about yourself. Something just odd. I don't think I have anything that odd, really. I know something about myself. You know, people can do this. I can only do it on one side. I can't do the other side, and I don't know why. I can, like, do this, but I can't scrunch it. I can't. Like, I can on this. Like, and then this one. It looks like a doll. One of them weird dolls when you tip them back in the light. <laughs> but yeah, there's an insight into more of me as a person. But yeah, thanks if you got this far. This is a really long video. I'm really sorry, but hey. Um, please hit that like button if you did stick around and you enjoyed it because it helps me loads and I love everyone that does that. I love them. Yeah, pop a comment below and hit that subscribe button and become a little pixie because join the pixie family. We need to grow as a family and make more pixie friends. Also, all my social media links are down below so be sure to go and follow them. I need more people on my Twitter because I've only recently kind of, like in the last few months started using it and I don't like have anyone on there so it's boring. So tweet me and I'll follow a bunch of you because why not? Yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will be back very soon. Bye guys!